Open the app. Installed it on Shopify. Click on install button. Once you installed the app then you need to complete onboarding steps for a Walmart app. Step 1 General Information Required As you can see here. Click on next button to proceed. Log in to Walmart seller panel, go to the settings section and then click on consumer ID and private key. Here is consumer ID copy that key and paste it on app. To get private key click on regenerate key. Paste techies here and click on next button. Now, import the products from Shopify store to app. You can also import the selected products from Shopify to app. Fourth step is category mapping in which seller need to map the products type of the products to Walmart predefined category as well as provide the tax code of the products. Last is attribute mapping which is done for variants products only. It is the dashboard of the app. Go to the settings section you can manage Walmart API setting, order setting like, partial orders, order shipment and the most important is producers syncing which you want to manage from app and don't want to sync from your store. Custom pricing, increase or decrease, can be set for all the products on the app from here. Allow products creation. Sync SKU that has been newly created on Shopify. Shipping charge can be managed from here and the most important threshold limit, under that quantity products will get out of stock from Walmart. Then save the settings. Let's upload the products from app. In Manage Products select the products that you want to upload on Walmart and make it uploaded. After uploading, feed need to be processed. Select the recent feed and then upload it. Here as we can see the feed uploaded successfully now we again move to Manage Products Grid in Products section and then filter the products from item processing. Select the products and then choose Upload Inventory from Bulk Action Perform. Inventory can update in bulk. You can update the details of the products one by one by clicking on Edit button. From here you can change product title, description, weight, tax code, SKU override, products ID override, fulfillment lag time inventory of all variation as well as price. Also, you can mange the shipping exception for any particular products. Then and click on save button. Select the products to upload products, promotional price, repricer, price as well as inventory. Update price from app to marketplace. Update inventory from app to marketplace. Get status will help to get the same status of the products from marketplace to sync products from Shopify to app. Get promo price status from Walmart to app. Seller can validate their products also on app. Manage orders from app. Sellers can see the details of the orders as well the shipping details. In case if order not fetched, can be done manually. And sync it to Shopify also. Export import used to update products, price, quantity, UPC, retire products through CSV as well as upload products from app. Now here we will see how to update quantity or price via CSV.